Long before matchbooks or lighters, and even before flint and steel kits became standard for survivalists, there was fire. Our ancient ancestors mastered it in ways that modern bushcraft still studies and emulates. Neanderthals, often dismissed as primitive, had a deep understanding of how to harness, store, and transport fire. Archaeological digs across Europe reveal traces of fire pits, charred tools, and specialized materials designed specifically for starting and maintaining flame. These early fire kits were not mere happenstance. They were purpose-built survival systems. They allowed humans to cook, stay warm, ward off predators, and survive those harsh Ice Age winters. Today we're uncovering the Neanderthal fire kit, examining how it worked, what it tells us about early human ingenuity, and how modern bushcraft enthusiasts can apply these principles in the wilderness today. Neanderthals understood fire as a tool, not just warmth. Evidence shows that Neanderthals didn't merely stumble upon fire, they controlled it. Sites across France, Spain and Germany reveal clusters of charred bones and stone tools placed carefully around fire pits, indicating repeated use and strategic placement. They stored embers from one day to the next, ensuring that they didn't need to start from scratch every morning. This level of foresight is remarkable, considering the technology of the time. It shows an understanding of fire as a critical survival tool, not just a momentary source of heat. For modern bushcraft enthusiasts, this mindset is invaluable. Fire is rarely about spectacle. It's about practicality. Maintaining embers overnight in a contained pit or using natural tinder bundles allows you to extend heat, cook efficiently and reduce the time spent creating flame from scratch. Observing how Neanderthals approach fire teaches us the importance of preparation and conservation. They had specialized materials for starting fire. Archaeologists have found remnants of charred fungi, flint chips and resinous wood at Neanderthal sites early forms of tinder and ignition material. Some evidence even suggests that they used dried moss, shredded bark and resin-coated twigs to create slow-burning fire starters. These materials were lightweight, portable and reliable, allowing them to carry the potential for fire over distances or between camps. Today, modern bushcrafters use the same principles. Tinder bundles, fatwood and natural char cloth are the contemporary equivalents of these ancient fire starters. The lesson is that fire begins with preparation. Gather materials that are dry, fibrous and highly flammable. By combining these with sparks from flint, steel or ferro rods, you can create a controlled flame almost anywhere, just as Neanderthals did thousands of years ago. Neanderthals likely stored fire for transport between sites. One of the most remarkable aspects of their fire management was the ability to transport embers safely. Charred stones and coals found in hearths far from the original site suggest that Neanderthals carried hot embers in bark containers or hollowed out logs. This allowed them to maintain a constant heat source reducing the need to hunt for new firewood or risk exposure while gathering tinder in the wild. For modern survivalists, this translates into the practice of ember banking. A small tin with embers from a dying fire can be used to ignite a new fire later, or you can wrap embers in ash for short-term storage. By understanding the principle of controlled ember transport, you gain a method to extend warmth and cooking ability without relying solely on matches or lighters. The fire kit was part of a broader survival strategy. Fire was never used in isolation. 
Neanderthals combined flame with stone tools for butchering, rocks for heat retention, and careful placement of fuel to maximize efficiency. They positioned fires near shelters, cooking areas, and sleeping spots, creating micro-environments that enhance safety, warmth, and food preparation. This holistic approach to survival shows a sophisticated understanding of resource management and environmental adaptation. In modern bushcraft, we apply the same integrated thinking. When setting up a campsite, consider not just how to make a fire, but where to position it for maximum warmth, smoke dispersal and safety. Use rocks or improvised windbreaks to protect flames, and plan fuel use so you always have backup tinder. The Neanderthal model reminds us that fire is both a central tool and a component of a larger survival system. Replicating the Neanderthal fire kit today is about skill, not technology. While we have access to modern fire starting tools, ferro rods, magnesium blocks and waterproof matches, the principles of the Neanderthal kit remain relevant. The emphasis is on preparation, resourcefulness, and knowledge of materials. Learning to identify suitable tinder in the wild, creating portable fire starters, and safely transporting embers mirrors exactly what Neanderthals did millennia ago. Practically, you can recreate this approach by assembling a small portable fire kit a bundle of dry fibres, a chunk of resin-coated wood, a ferro rod, and a small container for embers. Practice striking sparks into your tinder, maintaining a fire with minimal fuel, and storing embers safely. By doing so, you are connecting directly to ancient techniques, testing human ingenuity, and building skills that could be life-saving in emergency situations. The Neanderthal fire kit teaches resilience and foresight. Perhaps the most important lesson isn't the kit itself, but the mindset it represents. Neanderthals survived ice ages, predators, and harsh landscapes not by luck, but by thinking ahead, preparing for emergencies, and mastering their environment. Fire was a lifeline, but it was also a symbol of intelligence, foresight, and adaptability. Modern bushcraft enthusiasts can draw inspiration from this approach. Beyond carrying tools, it's about understanding how to use them efficiently, preparing for unexpected conditions, and respecting the resources nature provides. Every tinder bundle, spark, and ember becomes a direct link to our prehistoric ancestors' survival strategies. The Neanderthal fire kit may be ancient, but its lessons remain alive today. By studying their techniques, we uncover practical strategies for modern bushcraft, emergency preparedness, and outdoor living. If you found value in this journey back to humanity's earliest survival methods, subscribe to Backyard Wisdom and share this video with fellow history enthusiasts and bushcraft lovers. The fire that Neanderthals carried continues to light the way for all who dare to explore the wilderness.